my philosophy of, of photography is photographs all have meaning. They have more meaning the longer you live with an Im any image, I think. The images, they kind of grow meaning over time, and they grow meaning either next to other images within a history of a field of images or within a certain media type or style. They also develop meaning individually for us, like uh, given, given any artwork that you might be attracted to in a museum or an institution, every time you return to the artwork, new meaning will come out of it, either based on where you are in your life or what occurs whenever you're there seeing it or what your state of mind was or emotional states are uh, and when that image comes up. So I like that play with what things, how things acquire meaning and what their, what their origin is for their meaning and how they acquire more and or different meaning over time. The philosophy is not to let the equipment get in the way. Technology, because I'm a technology, I'm a teacher of technology, my intention is always to try to get students beyond the technology and onto the page or onto the artwork. My studio is pretty rudimentary since most of the work is done on computer. I don't have a large palatial painting studio like a painter might have. I actually have a studio in a basement with like eight foot ceilings that you, you're in.